Originally for my deep water tanks, I used standard uh, PVC overflow lines that included the rubber boot and that are designed to capture a little um, a chrome cover on the front with a, that sort of screws into the little hole you can see in, in there. Except that I didn't want uh, chrome sitting in the water, so instead I cut a piece of a, a, a cutting board, ran a screw through it, and drilled a hole through it so that it could kind of sit in the inside to press it uh, flat against there. And actually, and actually here you kind of see how it would fit together a little bit better. And I mean, it worked pretty well. You can see it kind of captures it. You can sort of, it puts tension on it and presses the boot, boot pretty close. Um, and again, I used it for several months. The problem is, is that it still wiggles a little bit and doesn't make a perfect seal. And, you know, wind or all kinds of stuff shifts a tiny bit and it still like drains a little bit down the side. And I had another tub that I used for deep water culture that I had used a, um, I'd had a nylon uh, two inch uh, threaded to threaded coupling that I could use for the inside to grab a threaded piece of a two inch uh, adapter on the outside that worked pretty well but only had one of those couplings and I wanted to do something similar for this other bed that had been leaking a little bit but with uh, standard PVC fittings that would be available at the plumbing store and just adding a little bit of a uh, silicone glue around the sides worked so much better than dealing with that rubber gasket but unfortunately uh, normal PVC fittings have a, don't thread all that deep and as you can see there's a pretty big gap there uh, certainly much wider than the, what, you know, two or three millimeters that the uh, thickness of the tub steel is. So what to do? Well, my favorite solution is use trash. I had some foam left over from packing from some junk that I bought uh, in the mail. And I could uh, make up a little uh, bit of a donut um, as a buffer. And my favorite, just, you know, when in doubt, use more silicone glue to waterproof it. Um, that stuff is magic. So you can see there's a pretty big gap between the tub wall and the fitting um, and these that are outside, which is what we need to fix. So I cut out a foam donut to take up that extra space and a plastic washer so that the, the collar on that fitting would actually press onto that foam and not just go through it. Added a generous serving of silicone glue around the fitting, got everything uh, ready to screw together and tightened it up. And here we have it and it is working extremely well. So yeah, and no leaks at all. I'm uh, really pleased with it. I should have done this from the beginning. Um, you can see that that uh, water's just beating up around that silicone, even though it's just out of rain, and it is fantastic. Looks like I've got some nutrient deficiencies. I think I, sh I think right now I'm just a little low on potassium. I got some coming in the mail, and uh, some past problems, but it's been raining a bit, so I can't really uh, take care of the BT too much. But in general, things are working out pretty well. Anyhow, um, oh man, I got some pretty good cucumbers coming out of this. I hope this helps somebody, uh, you know, make make another tub into a way to sort of grow some more plants for themselves. So